everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Control Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can install the general purpose library into our computer. So let's go to the software. The first thing that we need to know is that we need to download this GPL. So um, in our website you should be able to find the, the files. If you type uh, general purpose library so on, you should be able to download the zip file. You should be able to find all the installation guides that probably is going to do the same thing I'm going to show you. You have the user manuals and you have the five uh, like sub libraries uh, that we need to use. So something important here, you should be able to find like a five different folders. And this is the file that we need to install, the family.dsc. So in order to install that, what we need to do is to open in the control expert this type library update. It's so another window. So we need to point into this path to install it. Okay. So in my case, I have control expert already open. And I'm going to install the library. So we're going to get an error because it's not good to have it. So let's just find the, the path for this. We come back to you quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have this. Let's first tap. Let's start with the communication. I wanted to try to install this. So as soon as I try to open and install, and it makes sense because the control expert is running in the background. So we need to close control expert. Just to show you that I don't have anything installed, we can go to here, tools, dice library browser, and here you can see that I don't have the GPL library installed. So we need to close this. Close. Mm -hmm. Just wait for it to, to finish. Okay, now I'm going to try to install the same one. Install family. Now we need to wait until it finish. Probably this one takes a little more time. The thing is that you saw that I have different folders, so you just need to make installation of each of them. Installation successful. So now I'm going to install the devices. Install. Just need to make the same process for all of those. And then we uh, we must open the control expert once again to see that that is already installed. Just wait for it to, to finish. Or it takes time depending on the part of the library. Just to show you how much time does it takes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's install the say that conditioning. And install. Probably takes it takes uh no time. So now that I have already installed three components of the five. I'm going to open Control Expert. It's opening the other window or the image. The other window. Okay, good. So now I'm going to open the same project I have been working with. Had a password. Now if you go back to Types Library Browser, if you go to Tools, Types Library Browser, here, you should have Modicon Libraries General Purpose. And here I have three of the components that I've been working with. Okay. So here you can see that I have all this. Okay. So now imagine that you don't, you want to uninstall this. So tools, types, library manager, 
here signal right click delete just at all close here is already fine over here so i would probably advise to close control expert okay let's close it and then i'm going to open again so control expert Let's see if I need where to open it. No, I need to type server manager. As you can see here, I have only two. Okay. So uh, this is how you installed and uninstalled the library. But there are a few things now we need to do in order to use it. So once we are working in our project, there are a few things that we need to um, enable. Just close this. So tools, project settings. So here. So once we have this installed and we open the, the control expert project, what we need to do is to go to the variables part here in the variables we need to check this because internally it does something and also uncheck this part okay then on the languages common what we need to do is to use this one allow multi um, assignation okay because inside the library something someone happened around something and is doing this and then we should be able to to work with the library without any issue otherwise you receive error messages uh, and then you don't know what it is but that information is also here in the installation guide here post installation procedures and this is information that you need to okay so this is how we can install and install the GPL, the general purpose library in control expert. And the thing that we need to do in the projects in order to work with the function block. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.